Welcome to The Holy Yogi, where we help you find the guru inside of you. Hello, beautiful. Hello, handsome. How you doing today? And if no one has told you today that they love you, I love you. <laughs> Let me be the first. Hey, everybody. How you doing today? We got a quick one for you, but it's profound. I want you to listen to this. One of the key secrets into creating and manifesting abundance is your life, is to be a loving person. One of the things that I always say to people, how much money in your bank account is based upon, uh, is based upon how much loving you're giving. So honey child, boyfriend, <laughs> if you have very little money in your bank account, it's because you're not giving a whole lot of love out there. Mm. You need to start focusing on giving a whole lot of love out there. So with that in mind, because remember, money is only energy. Keep that in proper perspective. That's why they call it what? Currency. Wake up, ladies and gentlemen. So it's real simple. You give a whole lot of love out to, out to individuals, your product, with your service, with just a compliment, with just good advice, money will come back to you. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. A prime personal example. Now you, everybody knows that of late, I just now completed doing the wonderful um, three day hard dry fast. I've been manifesting in serious nirvana, prosperity and abundance, you know, I am feeling the vibe of unconditional love. So I go to go get my car fixed. As I make this journey, get my car fixed, right in front of me as I'm about to make that left hand turn to the auto body shop. I see a Lyft driver right in front of me. And my first thought was, I wonder if that is going to be my Lyft driver. Of course, she's in the area and I'm about to call Lyft to take me home while they fix my car. Well, in a nutshell, come finding out she did become my Lyft driver. A coincidence? Mm -mm. Remember, divine connection, divine intervention, all those things come in place so we were supposed to meet. Now, when I get into the car, and get settled, she has on spiritual gospel music. I mean, she's feeling the vibe and she is holy in favor and she is blessed. Really wonderful, sweet woman. A great conversation we had as we were driving. And what was really fascinating was that I drive Lyft all the time. That's my favorite, you know, share ride uh, car or, or company that I like to um, work with. The only company that I've ever worked with since doing this whole thing. Uh, with this new system that they have out there. And in a nutshell, every driver that I've asked before her, how did they like, you know, being a Lyft, you know, um, you know, rider, or not rider, I guess a, a Lyft driver. And, you know, she gave the best response. She says she loves it. She's making a lot of money. It's, you know, providing her with her bread and butter, etc. And she was very positive, very conversational. She was just a really genuinely nice person. And I found that really ironic. What was so different about her experience than the other people? And I really believe, like anything, it's all about your attitude. If you believe it's great, and another thing she says, she's making a lot of money. Most of the other ones are saying, okay, I'm making okay money, etc. Hey, it's all about you thinking, I'm going to get into this car. I'm going to get into Lyft. I'm going to do very well. I'm going to make a lot of money. I'm going to serve a lot of people, etc. And you have that type of experience. And so that's why she had it. And I tell you what really hit why I know she was successful. Because to be very honest with you, if you know me, I'm a budgeter. So I had my little ration money, you know, as far as what I was going to give her, etc. For the ride, you know, the typical 15%. But, you know, listening to her... Feeling her energy, feeling her vibe. Spirit told me, quite frankly, no, don't give her $2. That was my goal, to give her $2. My ride was coming up to about $16, $17. And I said, no, give her $4. And then after they gave her $4, and I had like my last, like 50 cent in cash, because I, I wanted to pay in cash, give her, the give her the last bit of what you have. 
So each, each time I thought about giving her, it came more and more and more. And it was based upon the conversation I was having with her. It was based upon the good vibe that I was having with her that encouraged me to want to give her more. And that's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. People do business with who they know, they like, and they trust. And more importantly, people give abundance with people that give off their energy. You know, wealth is not what's in your pocketbook, ladies and gentlemen. It's not that. It is the true currency of all the love, of all the gift, of the give, 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 give. I even tell people, give until it hurts. Give until you don't even have anything to give because it does come back tenfold. I'll give you another prime example. I was on a phone call with a company. This was years ago when I was heavily in real estate investing and I was looking to try to increase my credit line with this company, credit card company owner was, and I think it was at 25,000. I wanted to get it to 30,000. Well, always remember what the universe has planned for you. Anyway, I'm talking to this guy. You know, I'm always nice. I'm always friendly. I'm always, you. yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you know, I'm not brown nosing. What I'm doing is loving people the way I want to be loved. And that's what I'm talking about what happened with this young lady and I. We connected because we're both on the love, the spiritual, the godly tip. Because what is God? God is what? Love. So we are exuding that, we're practicing and we're pre preaching that. And because we're practicing, we're preaching it and we're living it, we are exuding that and so abundance keeps coming to us. So anyway, I'm talking to a gentleman, we end up having a great conversation. And in a nutshell, by the time we got finished talking, you know, I told him um, I wanted to get it up to $35,000. He said, you know what? He said, I can give you 40,000. I said, well, don't let me stop you there. Please, I welcome the abundance. I'd appreciate you giving me $40,000. And that was just because of a conversation, ladies and gentlemen. I went from $25,000 in credit to an additional $15,000 credit line just by being nice, courteous, mannerly. You know, they always say if you, um, uh, let's see, let, let's see, um, what's that saying about if you, um, you can't get honey with vinegar. I forgot the saying, but you know where I'm coming from. You know, you get good with good. You get like with like. And you know, people trivialize just basic things, but just because I was mannerly, courteous, yes sir, and more importantly, I treated him with respect. You see, love and respect go hand in hand. You respect the people that you're working with. You honor them, honor them, and cherish them and give them a whole lot of love and appreciation, it comes back to you. You know, even in money, they talk about the term, you know, the value of the home appreciated. It went up in value. And do you know that a home goes up in value if people take care of it? Like they keep the, the roof, you know, function well and they make sure electricity and the gas and things that nature is doing well they get a new paint job before they sell their home you know they give more value to it and they cherish it and so they the value of the home what appreciates okay so that's what it's all about it all goes hand in hand one minute we're talking about appreciating an individual next one we're talking about money but what we know they're all one and the same so that's what happened to me. I did the same thing with my real estate investment property. So the value of the home appreciated. So I was able to send a 10, 20, $30,000 more than if I left it into its, its uh, condition that it was in. So that's what you want to do. You want to give, give out there, show the love, show the appreciation and things of that nature. And watch, it may come back tenfold, $15,000 in credit. Oh, by the way, the $15,000 in credit that they gave me, guess what I was able to do to that? Invest in a piece of real estate property. And guess what I did? I only did four advance payments of, uh, I, I think I had to put down uh, $5,000 on four, a um, hundred, no, 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 no. The houses were going for 300,000, I think it was. 300,000 at the time. Later on, I cashed out a year later from just holding that price by putting down just $5,000 via my credit cards. I was able to cash out and make, mm, was it $250,000? See what I'm talking about? Trust me, this spiritual stuff works. If you want to manifest more abundance in your life, do the work. Be kind, be loving, and caring to individuals. And watch it come back tenfold. That's how you manifest abundance in your life, by giving out a whole lot of love. Remember, I told you, money is what only what? Energy. And, and, and money is also called what? 
currency. So keep on doing the love and putting it out and watch it come back tenfold. And then, like Oprah does all the time, she gives out money and what? You could become not only a millionaire, but a billionaire. Okay? So take that with a grain of salt. So with that said, we're going to end there and end today in a wonderful peace, light, namaste meditation. Dear Heavenly Spirit, we honor you and we thank you for the message of the day that we know that money is in abundance and it is coming our way. We thank you in advance for the abundance of money, knowing that as we give out love, peace, happiness, joy, and prosperity, that money will flow to us effortlessly and easily. And in advance, we say thank you. Be blessed, and I wish you an abundance, an abundance of money, an abundance of love, an abundance of health, an abundance of happiness, an abundance of family and friends in your life. Bye-bye for now. Peace, love, and don't forget, hey, love, comment, like, <laughs> and subscribe to this channel, and we have another beautiful, phenomenal message for you today, and make you feel mm, cozy and huggy, and more importantly, loved. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.